God will surely come to your aid if you call upon Him. God loves us all, and He will never let our enemies win. God is willing to bring you out of that dark place and bring you into the light. You should call on God, and He would hear your cry. He would remove that roadblock to your success, and you will be free to fly again. God has it all planned for you. You just need to pray to Him, trust Him, and be patient because He is about to perform miracles in your life. Your haters will be looking for your downfall, and they will go at any length to watch it happen. God will put your haters to shame. You know God can bless you, show you His immense favor, promote you, heal you, show you His grace and mercy. But you do not realize, God can use your enemies to achieve all these with you. What you count as disappointment, probably a person that walked away from your life, a friend that betrayed you, someone that pushed you away from their life. They might be delaying your destiny. This is all part of God's plan to get you to your destiny. Do not complain about your enemies. Of course, it would look like a setback, but it is all part of the plan to get you to your destiny. This is why it does not make sense to convince people to like you. You do not know what God has planned for you. You are probably hoping for a break from them, but God does not have to use your friends to bless you. He can also use people that have made it their job to bring you down. He can use them to push you to the next level. God also has similar plans in place for you. People that would be placed strategically in your life to push you to your dream. There would also be people placed in your life by God to try to stop you from achieving your goals. These people are just there to provide trials to you. If you are not familiar with this concept of life, it is easy for you to get discouraged. You start to question God, but that opposition was not meant to stop you. It was meant to establish you. When you defeat this opposition, you would show people around you that you walk with the grace of God as you step into another level in pursuit for your destiny. Sometimes, God will just place an enemy in your life to keep you on your toes. God will let critics and enemies rubbish your efforts. He would purposely let them get to you. At that point, you feel so tired and think you want to give up. You will keep making progress, shaking off all the enemies. You do this because you do not want to give your enemies the satisfaction of seeing you in your defeated state. This might not be out of spite or pride. It is just out of determination. God uses the negative to test our faith and keep us on our toes. Many people will come in your life. Some will learn from you, and some you would learn from. Some will leave good memories and some will leave you with a hard lesson. Some people would come briefly, but they would make so much impact in your life. Some people will walk into your life and stay forever. The most important thing is you gain experiences with different people you meet. It increases your relationship with people, and when you meet people with similar energy, you know if you really need them in your life or not. If your life can be this organized, then it is going to be hard for a fake person to have access in your life. Your instinct will always repel these kinds of people and you know better than to ignore your instinct. When someone with bad intention comes, there should be a kind of test you make them undergo. There should be a principle you lay down for letting people stay in your life. You should have a standard on things you think are right or wrong. No matter how important you want someone to be in your life, there are certain things they should never have the right to change 
in your life. Most people mistake being principled with being strict, but if you are not principled, so many people will walk over you. You should be able to stand on what you know is right, and do not let anybody change that. When you have people around you that claim they love you, but are constantly trying to tell you you are not enough, bringing you down with every opportunity, always discouraging you from every idea you have, and do not seem to be interested in your growth. These people are just there to suck your energy until you can no longer rise anymore, and God will expose them. God will make your enemies bow before you. You know God can actually bless you, show you His immense favor, promote you, heal you, show you His grace and mercy. But you don't realize God can use your enemies to achieve all these for you. What you count as disappointment, a person that walked away from your life, a friend that betrayed you, someone that pushed you away from their life, they might be delaying her destiny. This is all part of God's plan to get you to your destiny. Do not complain about your enemies. Of course, it would look like a setback, but it is all part of the plan to get you to your destiny. This is why it does not make sense to convince people to like you. You do not know what God has planned for you. You are probably hoping for a break from them, but God can use these people that have made life difficult for you to bless you. He can use them to push you to the next level. God will place strategic people in your life to push you to the level He wants you to get to. There would also people be placed in your life by the devil to stop you from achieving your goals. These people just cause delay in your journey to destiny. But God will expose these friends and family members that are part of them. When you defeat this opposition, you would show to people around you that you walk with the grace of God as you step into another level in your pursuit for your destiny. Sometimes, God allows the enemy in your life to keep you on your toes. He will let critics and enemies rubbish your efforts. He would let them get to you. At that point, you feel so tired and frustrated you want to give up. But you will keep making progress, shaking off all the enemies. You do this because you do not want to give your enemies the satisfaction of seeing you in your defeated state. God uses the negative to test our faith and keep us on our toes. Sometimes, He will use your enemies to promote you even more than He would use your friends. Notice that when God saves you and makes you succeed against all odds, He does not do it in private. He do it where the enemies can see it. God will expose these enemies in your life today. God will bless you and favor you in their presence. You will move from grass to grace in their presence. They will watch God bless you, and God will expose them before you. All your worries will be solved, and you will dwell in God's favor, grace, and infinite mercy.